everyone. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the player menu and uh, what it means, what it does, and um, what changes to it means. So we're just going to hop into the player here. And you'll see that for this project, we have the menu turned on. So you can see all of the items, all of the slides and scenes that are in my menu. Now we're just going to hit menu. And here you can make changes to anything that's in your menu. So what I really wanted to talk about um, initially was deleting things and what that means. So if I say, you know what, I don't think we should have the disclaimer showing in the menu, but I still want the disclaimer to show. Um, so all I have to do here is delete it from the menu and then we don't see it in the menu anymore. Now, what does that mean? That means that we have simply removed it from the menu. As long as it is still being linked to in the story, so we still have exam information and then it goes to disclaimer. As long as it's being linked to and you haven't removed it from an unlinked um, portion, so say, um, say we didn't want to link it, uh, I'll just do um, this previous one because the other one's tied to a scene. So say we didn't want to have this linked, what we would do is we would just delete um, the next, next one and then we would delete the jump to we, w we could say maybe um, I want it to go right to the disclaimer. So instead of next slide, we would say go to the disclaimer. So now you have your exam information completely unlinked. So I'm just going to quickly switch that back. So I'm going to go to next slide, which is end. And then I'm going to add a jump to next slide. <laughs> Uh, not when the timeline starts though, when the user clicks the next button. Now, that being said, when we preview this scene, even though we have taken it out of the menu, you're still going to see the disclaimer because it is linked to in the scene. So just bear with me here while this previews. All right. Sorry. Sector. Okay, so you don't see it in the me in the um, menu here, but if we jump through, after exam information, we are going to see the disclaimer. There's the disclaimer. So it still shows up, even though you've deleted it from the menu. I like to do this when there are multiple knowledge checks back to back. So if instead of it saying knowledge check, knowledge check in the menu, I'll delete the, um, I'll keep the first instance and then I'll delete the remaining instances. Now, another thing that you can do with your menu here is you can move things around. Sorry about that. I'm waiting on a call. <laughs> um, so you can move things around. So if you now, Basically, the reason these are bumped out is because they are scenes. Now, if you wanted everything in line, you could just select each of the items under your scene and bump, bump them out and then move them. Or sorry, rather, you could just delete, delete the uh, scene, but keep the items. So then you would have just the items in it and nothing would be bumped out. Now, if you wanted to say, make a change and add that scene, um, sorry, you would select your folder, choose introduction, insert. We already have all of the slides that are in there. So all we would do is just delete those. Psst, dear God, my I have a beagle and it is garbage day, so. He is very testing on the screencast patience. Um, and then other things that you can do is just like I've shown you, you can move things around. 
you can add a new menu item if you'd like. Um, I don't want to for this particular purpose. You can click on the cog and get your menu options. This is where you can kind of change whether you want the navigation free, restricted, or locked, um, to wrap the long menu titles, um, which just means that any menu title that is super long, let me see if I have one, like this one, it wraps instead of continues to kind of go over, cut off. Um, and then the you can choose to reset it completely from the story. So if you've made a lot of changes since you, like say you initially had your menu, you made a whole bunch of changes, added scenes, slides, everything, and wanted to make sure that everything that you had was in there the way that you wanted, you could hit reset from story. So these are just a few ways that you can adjust the menu in Articulate Storyline, and hopefully that gives you a bit more context, but the number one takeaway from, from this uh, particular screencast that I want you to have is that deleting things from your menu doesn't mean that you're deleting the slide. 